And now it's time for our daily arts and culture segment with our Michelle Kim. Now I hear she has two very interesting exhibitions to start off this week. Hello, Michelle. Hello, Kanya. Well, I hope you had a good weekend. I did. I did. Did you? Oh, I actually uh, got a chance to enjoy the weather a little bit. That's good. And Saturday it was, was nice one. It was. So, um, what kind of exhibitions uh, do you have for us to kick off this uh, spring week? Well, you know, if you thought that libraries were just for reading and checking out books, well, you'll have to think again because the National Library of Korea is offering two exhibitions for us and have the details on this on a video clip for you right now. April 23rd is World Book and Copyright Day. To celebrate, the National Library of Korea is holding a media art exhibition in April, May and June that uses an advanced three-dimensional visual technology called holography. The exhibition Hologram, archiving the object and its memory, showcases 85 holographic artworks that depict images of rare artifacts and objects we use in our daily life. Holography produces three-dimensional images called holograms by manipulating the light from a laser. With this technique, the image changes as the position of the viewer changes, making the image appear three-dimensional from any angle. There are more holographic images outside of the exhibition venue depicting rare books from the library's collection. Elsewhere at the National Library of Korea, there's another exhibition that vividly portrays the legal culture of the Joseon Dynasty. Crime and Punishment in the Joseon Dynasty will showcase the records of criminal investigations, legal proceedings, and punishments during the period. An Hegyeong, the library's antique book expert, talked about the reason for the exhibition. We created this exhibition to shine light on the criminal investigation records, sentencing policies, legal changes, and legal culture during the Joseon dynasty. This exhibition continues until the end of June.